Okay. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. It is a privilege to be with you again, and we get to uh, turn to the Word of God together. Can I pray for us before we begin? Our Father in heaven, we thank you that you have gathered this conference. And we thank you that for several days now you have shown us Jesus from the scriptures. We now pray for the help of the Holy Spirit. We pray that you would open up the scriptures to us. We pray you would deepen our confidence in the scriptures. And we pray, our God, that from this conference you would raise up a whole army of preachers. To proclaim Christ throughout this great nation. For the glory of God and the good of your church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I invite you to take your Bibles and turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 4. And as you're turning there, I will begin. A recent article on philosopher Bruno Latour boldly asserted that we are now living in a post-truth world. According to the piece, any truth that is outside of ourself is now a completely a thing of the past. Even the hard facts of science apparently are actually a construct of society and the institutions that discover them. The article asserts that the scientific community participates in creating the truth it discovers. It would seem that this is where the narrators of our institutions and culture believe we are and want us to believe that we are. They want us to believe that truth as truth is no more. As one postmodern philosopher has put it, truth is whatever our friends will let us get away with saying. In this kind of world, social observers tell us that the church is weak. Uh, In my home, the United States, a smaller proportion than ever attends church on a given Sunday. And the future generation doesn't look any brighter. Sociologists tell us that fewer and fewer of the emerging generation have a good impression of Christianity. Increasingly, in my part of the world, Christianity and the church is seen not only as unbelievable, but even as dangerous. The foundation of the Christian faith in an authoritative revelation and its commitment to preach that revelation is seen as hateful and dangerous. Because 
So the question I have for you this afternoon is, how do we do the work of Christ in a world such as this? How does the church do its mission in a, a culture that's opposed to it? How do we serve the coming of God's kingdom with faithfulness in such a world as this? To answer that question, I went to an acquaintance that I made a few years ago. I found an older seasoned servant of God who was a very effective church planter. He spent many years doing ministry in a culture that was opposed to his message. And one of the ways that he was effective was by always gathering a group of young leaders around him. One of his apprentices was a pastor about my age, and he had to do ministry in a very dark city. So his old mentor sent him a lengthy note how to do ministry in that situation. And that letter actually turned out to be the last piece that that old kingdom warrior would ever write to anyone. Here's what he wrote. It's in the text in front of you. Second Timothy chapter four, verses one to five. 记载在提摩拉后书四章一到五节. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by His appearing in His kingdom. 我在神面前，并在将来审判活人死人的基督耶稣面前，凭着他的显现和他的国度嘱咐你。Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. And will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Brothers and sisters, it is significant to understand that this was what Paul chose to write as the very last thing to his beloved son in the faith. Timothy shed tears when he parted from Paul. The apostle Paul addressed Timothy as his beloved child. And now the darkness is gathering around Timothy. Paul anticipates that he must endure suffering, and so he has him on his heart. On his heart, he also has the mission of the church. He wants Timothy to do the work of an evangelist. He's passionate about the faithfulness and the fruitfulness of a son that he's mentored in the faith and in the kingdom service. 
所以他希望他的儿子也同呃属灵的儿子也同样的有这样的一个忠心，有这样的一个信心啊，在啊持守啊教会的这样的一个使命。He's passionate about the mission of God in a darkening time. 他也知道啊，这个啊明也明白这个神的使命是要面向这样一个黑暗的时代、黑暗的世界的。And here is his charge to Timothy. 因此，他写下了这些对提摩太的嘱咐。It's right at the beginning of verse two. 啊，其实是在啊，提二章的时候已经开始嘱咐了。Preach the word. 啊，呃，不，在第二节的时候是这样的一个嘱咐，他说勿要传道。We'll dig into that more deeply in a few minutes, but that's the command, that's the charge that the seasoned servant of God leaves his beloved apprentice. 啊，我们可能接下来再详细的展开，但是我们现在先看到，这是一位啊非常有经验的啊年长的这样的一个啊神的仆人啊，要嘱咐年轻人的传道人的一句话，一个命令，一个嘱咐，说勿要传道。Preach the word. 勿要传道。Each of us makes choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do faithful, fruitful ministry in our world. Ah, we all need to make choices about how to do So this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where we put our time, what we're willing to sacrifice for. Ah, this is a call to examine what we trust, where And so the question for you this afternoon is, what is the strategy you trust in a truth intolerant, culturally opposed world? So today's afternoon's question is, what is the strategy you trust in a truth intolerant, culturally opposed world? So today's afternoon's question is, what is the strategy you trust in a truth intolerant, culturally opposed world? So today's afternoon's question is, what is the strategy you trust in a truth intolerant, culturally wise, philosophically informed, divinely inspired apostle, he'd say, preach the word. So here is the theme sentence for my sermon this afternoon that I taught you this morning. So today, uh, 今天早上我们讲了这个要有一个主题的经文，对不对？所以今天下午我这个讲到的一个主题经文就是勿要讲到。If you want to serve God in a way that's effective in our time, prioritize the preaching of the word. 如果说在我们这样一个时代当中，什么样的一个事工是最优先的呢？就是传道。If you want to serve God in a way that's effective in our time, prioritize the preaching of the word. 如果你想在这样一个时代当中很有果效的去做神的施工，做神国度的施工，就先把传道，就宣扬神的话，传道这件事情放在优先性。I'd ask you to notice with me three aspects of this world-changing reality. 啊，然后我们要来看三个方面。First, we're going to see the timing of this charge. 我们来看这个保罗的这个嘱咐的三个方面。第一个是他嘱咐啊，让我们明白这个这个嘱咐的时间时机。Second, we're going to see the nature of the charge. 来看这个嘱咐它的性质是什么。And thirdly, we'll see the manner of the charge. 然后我们要看这个嘱咐它的一个方式，就用什么样的方式来嘱咐它。First, notice with me the timing of the charge. 然后第一个，和我们一我们一同来看一下保罗给出这个嘱咐，他的时机是什么 ？Look at verse one. 看第一节。I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by His appearing in His kingdom. 我在神面前，并在将来审判活人死人的耶稣基督面前，凭着他的显现和他的国度嘱咐你。Now look at verses three and four. 然后啊，再接下来看三到四节。For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. 
，因为时候要到，人必厌烦纯正的道理，耳朵发痒，就随从自己的情欲，增添好多师傅，并且言而不听真道，偏向荒谬的言语。In a recent interview I read, a highly respected and effective leader said, "The most precious commodity a leader has is his time." 呃，最近我看了一篇访谈啊，可能一个是很有名的一个世界的一个领袖，他说作为一个领袖最重要的资源是什么呢？就是时间。I am very aware of how imprecision or imposition on my schedule can cause me to be very ineffective. 啊，我也自己也知道我的经验就是我的时间表或者时间管理上面一点点的差错，可能啊就会导致很多的后果。I have a calendar on my phone that syncs to a calendar on my computer that syncs to a calendar on my assistant's computer. 嗯，我手机上面有这个日历日程表啊，然后这个是跟我的电脑上面的日历是同步的，又跟我的助手、我的秘书的这个啊时间表都是同步的。I have a separate calendar at home where my wife manages our family evening schedule so we can touch the people we need to. 啊，我在家里面呢又有另外一个日历一个日程表，我妻子在管理着，就是。Perhaps your time matters the same way. 我想可能你们的时间管理也是差不多，也是这么紧张，对吗 ？This command is extremely time sensitive for God's servant. 呃，这个嘱咐，这个命令是让我们看到，就是说神的仆人，我们要对时机要要懂得把握，要珍惜时间。There are two times which the servant of the word is to be very sensitive to. 作为神的仆人，我们要必须要很敏感啊！两这里面其实有两提到两套时机，两个时机。First in verses three and four, he must be sensitive to the time in which he lives. 第一个是呃时机是在三到四节里面讲到，我们神的仆人要敏感我们所处的这个时代，我在这生活的这个世界是什么时机，是什么时候。Timothy was encountering the effect of a darkened truth opposing culture in his city and in his ministry. 提摩太所生活的、所面对的是什么呢？是一个异教的城市啊，一个反对真理的，是一个黑暗的这样的一个一个文化当中。Notice in verse three, they will not put up with sound teaching. Ah, 第三节说到他们怎么样就呃厌烦了纯正的道理。That's the pattern of sound words delivered through the apostles. Ah, 这个纯正的道理呢，就是啊，我们这这使徒他们要传下来的这些纯正的道理。That's the good deposit of the gospel, the truth which Timothy was to guard. 这是纯正的道理，就是啊，神借着使徒所传下来的神自己的话啊，神的神的真道是真理，是提摩太要去守卫他，要去管理好。The the apostolic deposit, the truth of the gospel, will be intolerable to people. They will not endure it. 而这个时候，你会发现这种纯正的道理，使徒所传下来的真道，不被这个世界所包容，人们不喜欢他，人们要要反对他。Paul warns him that in his time they will turn away from listening to the truth. 保罗也警告他们在那个时代怎么样呢？人们会掩耳不听真道。But truth and tolerance never exists in a vacuum. It always embraces something else. 但但是人不能够只是说啊，我不容忍一样东西，总是会转向另外的一些东西。Notice from the text, they actually accumulate teachers. 你会发现在这个呃经文当中说，他们增添了好多师傅。They pile up teachers to satisfy their ticklish ears. 他们增添很多的师傅，为了怎么样呢？取悦于他们发痒的耳朵。They accumulate voices who will entertain their intellectual curiosity. 他们增添了好多的师傅来满足他们就知知知识上面或者是别的这些呃知识上面的一些好奇心。They stack up teachers who already agree with their feelings, their wants, their dispositions, who suit their own passions. 所以他们增添的这些师傅呢，是为了要重复的来满足他们已经啊、呃、想要有的那种情欲啊，或者是啊、呃、这些方面的满足。And you notice in verse four that people in a truth intolerant time don't just turn away from; they turn to. You 留意到第四节说那些不听真道的人，他们不单是离开真道，而且他们转向一些东西。Verse four says they turn from the truth to myths. 
。四节说，他们转离偏离了，离开了真道，他们却转向什么呢？荒谬的言语。A myth is a tale, a man-made legend, a fable that's regarded as untrue. 呃，荒谬的言语的意思就是一些神话、一些传说、一些不真实的东西啊，人们啊拿出来呃。就就是来解释他们，解解释自己的。A myth is a speculative interpretation of the world that only the gullible believe. 呃，一些呃荒谬的言语，就是那些对世界的一些错误的解释啊，只有一些轻信的人他们才会去相信的。So please catch the picture. 啊，所以我们要看到这幅图画。People in Timothy's context of service walked around and followed humanly crafted stories that pretended to interpret their world. 嗯，所以提摩太所处的那个时代呢，就世人们都是要转向，或者是被。呃，就转向去寻找那些呃人为的啊制造出来出来的一些理论，来企图解释他们的世界。Man-made philosophies, man-made systems of thought. 人为的、人造的这些哲学思想，人造的这些啊这这些真理。Timothy was to take up this charge in a time when people had a negative attitude toward truth. And a positive attitude towards error. Timothy 所处的这样的一个时代，他所面对的人群就是一群人，他们要他不喜欢啊这个真理，而转向啊那些虚假的真理。What is striking and so profoundly relevant is that it's this particular system, this symptom, truth intolerance, which requires preaching the word. 而正是这样的一个不能容忍真理的这样的一个时代当中呢，就需要啊，他就提摩太去去去传传扬这个真道。It is in a time just like ours where people are intolerant to truth. 提摩太的那个时代跟我们这个时代不是一样吗？人们都不能够容忍。It is in a time just like ours when people are making up their own interpretations for the world. 不就是跟我们的时代一样吗？人们创造出各种各样人造的这个理论来解释这世界。It's in a time just like ours when man-made systems of thought are being imposed on our conscience. 啊、uh, ，不就跟我们的时代一样吗？各种人造出来的这样的一种思想体系，各种啊、uh, 鸡汤吧，就像说来影响着我们每个人的心。It's in that time that God's servant is to preach the word. 而这正是在这样的一个时代当中，我们要怎么样？要传扬神的话。But there's another time that must move him to take up his charge. So we must pay attention. Ah, Paul gave him a promise. There is another time. He mentions another time. Verses three and four show us the cultural moment. Ah, three to four show us the cultural moment. Ah, three to four show us the cultural moment. Ah, three to four show us the cultural moment. Ah, three to four show us the cultural moment. Allow me to read it to you again. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by His appearing in His kingdom. The time that must rule the vision and affection of God's servant is the time of His King's return. 啊，这作为神的啊仆人，我们眼中应该有一个意向，就是我们的处在神的这样的一个时机当中是什么时机呢？就是神的国度啊，在这里以及他的国度要再来再来。Verse one, Paul brings witnesses to the charge that he gives to Timothy. 所以啊，保就在这样的一个背景这个时机之中啊，保罗嘱咐啊提摩太。They are, as it were, the witnesses to the contract. 啊，他们就呃就就嘱咐他们要在这些反对的一群人面前来做见证。And look at who those witnesses are. 然后啊、uh ，看这些见证是什么呢 ？God and Christ Jesus. 见证耶稣，神和耶稣基督。God and Christ Jesus are the ones to whom the servant of the word is ultimately accountable. 是呃。这些是我们作为神的仆人，最终要来到谁面前来交账呢？是来到神呃和耶稣基督面前要交账的。Particularly here, Christ Jesus as judge at His return. 这里面特别提到耶稣基督在他再来的时候的一个身份是是以审判者的身份。Charles Spurgeon said, "The preacher in the pulpit should feel the eyelash of God." 嗯，所以啊，斯布珍是这样说：当讲员啊，牧师站在讲台上的时候，你甚至都要感受到神好像他的眼睛就在你的前面。He should have the sense that the one to whom he's accountable is God. 
，要知道他唯一要来到面前交战的那一位是神。And to Christ Jesus, as He will come and judge the living and the dead. Ah, 而以及耶稣基督就是那位马上就要来审判活人死人的耶稣基督。So as important as our immediate cultural moment is, that imminent cosmic moment must be our vision and our benchmark. 所以尽管我们身边的这些文化的处境，这个时机对我们来说很重要，我们要知道，但是我们也别忘了，更重要的是我们处在一个宇宙性的，在神的计划当中的这个时机是。Because it's then when Christ Jesus appears in all of His glory. Ah, because very quickly, Jesus Christ will appear in His glory. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, which seems so imperishable and so powerful and archaic, will be revealed. That the wisdom of this age, And the wisdom of God in Christ will be cosmically unveiled as righteous and true for all eternity. 而神的国度，神的真理就会显现出来，让我看到它是永在永恒当中，是永远不会啊、uh, 消失的。The appearing of Christ in His kingdom is the time when the servant of the Word must fix his vision. 而就是这样一幅图画，这样的一个时机，神啊、uh, 和啊、uh, 在和耶稣基督他的显现啊， uh, 这样一幅图画必须要放在啊、uh, 每个神的仆人的心里面，我们要。认识到这样的一个意向，看到这样的一个时机。That's the timing of the charge. 啊，这就是啊，保罗给提摩太的嘱咐的一个时时机。The truth intolerant time in which we live, with a vision for the time of our King's return. 这个时机两方面，一个是在我们啊这样的一个不能容忍真理的这样的一个时代，这样一个时机，同时也在神的国度啊里面的时机。Second, would you notice with me the nature of the charge? 然后第二部呃，第二部分我们来看这个主妇她的性质是什么。Look again at verse two. 我们再来看一下第二节。Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. 务要传道，无论得时不得时，总要专心，并用百般的忍耐，各样的教训责备人，警戒人，劝勉人。Now there are actually five commands in that verse, but they all explain or expand upon the one. Preach the word. 嗯，在这节经文当中有五个命令，其实啊，但其实他们都是同样的，是要来强调一个命令，就是务要传道。In our first message together, we touched on the concept of a herald. 啊，在我们昨天的这个呃那堂课当中，我们讲到一个概念，看到就是成为神的信使，对吗？ Perhaps you can draw to mind the picture of a herald from an ancient story or a film. Ah, 可能你从一些古代的一些电影啊，或者是一些故事当中，你能够得到一幅图画，就古代的信使是怎么样的。The king has drawn up his forces against the castle of his enemy and has it surrounded. Ah, 比如说一个君王，他带领他的军队已经去包围了一个城堡，就是敌人的城堡，然后要去攻打。So he sends out his representative to deliver his terms of surrender. 然后他就差派他的一个代表啊进去啊去去提供一个求和的条件啊给他的敌人。Sometimes in ancient society, such spokesmen would wear a, a tunic or carry a staff or a stick to say that they were an official representative of the ruler. 在古代，可能这些信使会穿一些特别的衣服、袍子，或者拿一些啊杖或者是这些装饰，然后来表明他们的身份。One of the qualifications of the herald was that he had a loud, clear voice. Ah, 但是呢，你要成为一个信使，其中一个条件，一个资格就是你的声音要大。Or you might think of an ambassador from one nation to another nation. Ah, 可能你也可以想想一下，就是一个使者，一个一个大使，从一个国家被差派到另外一个国家去的。When the ambassador arrives in the capital of the nation, he is understood to speak not for himself but for the government he represents. 啊，一个使者，一个大使到了另外一个国家的首都的时候，他就开始明白，他从此之后，他不是在啊凭自己说话了，他每一句话都是代表着他的国家，代表代表他的政府而说的。His job is not 
to carry his own ideas, but to clearly announce the agenda of the one who with authority has sent him. That's the picture behind the word preach in this verse. It's the picture of a herald or an ambassador. The word means proclaim loud, proclaim publicly. With the authority of your master, with clarity, with certainty, proclaim. So as the old kingdom ambassador contemplates his own departure, as he contemplates a darkening cultural context, he says to his son in the faith and God's servant, Step up, open your mouth, proclaim. And then he specifies what it is to be proclaimed. He says, preach the word. And we saw in our first message that Timothy knew what that word was. And chapter 3, verse 16, it is the God breathed scriptures. The word God's servant is to proclaim is the scripture breathed out by God. And because the scriptures are God breathed, they carry His authority, His truthfulness, His trustworthiness. It is that divinely authoritative, entirely trustworthy. Inerrant word which God's servant is to proclaim. That word and nothing less, that word and nothing more. Now there are several reasons that he's to proclaim that word in this letter alone. Uh, if you look at the end of chapter 316, it is sufficient for the man of God to fulfill his ministry. But there's more. Chapter 3, verse 15. The scripture is not only sufficient for service, but effective for salvation. Listen to chapter 3, verse 15. And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Please listen. Precisely because they are breathed out by God, the scriptures are, as Paul puts it elsewhere, the sword of the Spirit. The scriptures are the weapon of our warfare, which has divine power to destroy strongholds. The scriptures have divine power to tear down lofty arguments and opinions which the people of our time raise against the knowledge of God. 
，呃，圣经神的话语有着属神的力量和大能，可以去击败或者打破任何属世构建起来的那些啊、呃、这些虚假的人为的哲学或者是这些思想。I know a man who, in midlife, lost everything in his life because of alcohol. Ah, I 认识一个人，他在他中年的时候呢，失去了他所有的东西，因为酗酒。In his younger years, he'd been very accomplished athletically and professionally. Ah, 他在年轻的时候呢，其实是一个挺有成就的运动员啊，在职业上面也是很好。By the time he was 40 years old, he had lost his health, his job, his wife, and his home. 但是当他到四十岁的时候，他失去了他的健康，失去他的职业，失去他的妻子，失去他的家。His doctor said that if he didn't stop drinking, he was going to die. 而且医生也警告他，如果你再不戒酒的话，你就死了。The man had been hospitalized. 而这个人也只能住在医院里面。He had always resisted the message of the gospel, the truth about Jesus. 他一直在一生当中，他在拒绝，在抗拒啊福音啊耶稣基督的信息。But one evening, his children's pastor visited him in hospital. 但有一天晚上，他孩子的牧师来啊医院探访他。And he shared with him the first chapter of the Gospel of John. 然后就跟那个牧师就跟他分享了约翰福音的第一章。About the Son of God coming in human nature to earth to live and die and be raised for sinners. 就讲到神的儿子取了人性来到世间为我们啊出生为我们死为我们复活。And in an instant, this man, whose life had been characterized by drinking, fighting, hard-heartedness, fell to his knees, wept, and believed in Jesus Christ. 呃，就在那天晚上，这样一个一生当中，就是被啊喝酒、打架，或者是这些事情所捆绑的这样的一个人，他跪下来流泪、忏悔、祷告、信主。Later, when he had recovered and been released from hospital, he said this to his son. 啊，最后当他后来康复了，从医院里面回家的时候，他对他的孩子说这样的话 ：For forty years, it was the deity of Jesus that I could not embrace. 啊，他说过去的四十年当中，我最没有办法接受的就是基督的神性。I could not believe that Jesus was God in the flesh. 啊，我没有办法相信耶稣就是呃道成肉身的神。Then the Bible was opened up, and I saw it for myself, and I believed in Jesus as God in the flesh. 而当那天圣经在我面前打开的时候，我的眼睛就好像打开了，我就相信了耶稣基督是神，我就接受了。That is the power of the Scripture to effect salvation in somebody's life. 这个例子让我们看到，就是真的是圣经是有得救、使人得救的这样的一个力量。Charles Spurgeon said, "The Bible is a lion." 斯布珍说过，他说圣经就像一一只狮子一样。Simply let it out of its cage; it will fight for itself. So you just let it out of its cage; it will fight for itself. It is the Scripture as the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to speak to us. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. It is the very word of the Creator and Giver of life, which the Spirit uses to give new life. From this one letter alone, the charge "preach the word" is loaded with all of that meaning. 就从这
啊，特别是在你们啊所处的这样一个时代当中。In light of the return of the glorious Christ， 同时也要意识到这背景是我们也活在一个主要再来的这样的一个时机当中。For the sake of the souls of men and women living in darkness。也是要为了那些生还生活在啊黑暗当中的这些人们。Proclaim the God-breathed, Christ-revealing, salvation-effecting scriptures. 要去宣扬我们务要宣扬啊这样一位能给人生命、能够彰显耶稣基督、使人有救恩的这样的一个道神的话。And I must say, at this moment in our conference. 然后我也想在这个时候，在大会当中对大家说 ：If you are here and you have never believed in Jesus Christ， 如果在这个直到这个时刻，你发现你还没有相信耶稣基督 ，Friends, you have heard Jesus for day after day this week。那这一周你听到耶稣的名字啊，日复一日的听到 ，You have heard the Scriptures opened up to you day after day this week。你这一周你也看到圣经在你面前打开，日复一日。And God in His kindness has given you an opportunity. 这个时候在神的恩典怜悯之中，如今就是机会了。If like that man you have come opposed to the gospel. 如果像我刚才说的那个人一样，你啊、uh, 你是在啊、uh, 反抗福音的话。Would you not turn from your sin and believe in Jesus whom you've heard preached? 啊，我恳求你离开你的罪，转向啊，我们所传扬的这位耶稣基督。If you came to this moment not believing in Jesus， 如果你到此刻还没有相信耶稣基督的话 ，Do not leave this conference without turning to Christ crucified, risen, and returning as King over all。请不要啊， uh, 在啊， uh, 请不要离在离开这个会场之前啊。Uh, 请在离开这个会场之前，转向那位为你死定十字架并且复活的基督。That is the nature of the charge. Preach the word. 这就是啊，保罗对提摩太的嘱咐，务要传道。Third and last. 啊，最后一点，第三点。Would you notice the manner of the charge? 呃，看到保罗的这个嘱咐，他的方式是什么 ？Back to chapter four, verse two. 我们回过头来看四章二节。Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. Ah,、uh, 务要传道，无论得时不得时，总要专心或一为预备好啊， uh, 并用百般的忍耐，各样的教训责备人，劝诫人。Have you ever watched a security team around an important person? 你们有没有见过啊， uh, 在一些很重要的领导人身边的那些保镖了、保安团队 ？Have you ever watched how vigilant the security guards are? 你有没有留意到他们身边那些保镖？他们是非常的警备的。I remember watching a documentary of a security team around a particular leader. 啊，我看过一个纪录片来专门讲那些重要人物身边的这些保安、这些保镖是怎么样的。And I remember watching how close they were to him all the time. 啊，我留意到那些保镖就随时随刻就是离他们很近，离那个大人物很近。When he moved toward a crowd, they walked in front of him to move threatening-looking people away. 当那个呃那个人物他走向人群的时候，保安先先出去把那个道路清出来。When he was close to the crowd, one security person had a hold of his belt all the time to pull him away. 啊，然后呃，你会发现，当这个离人人群太近的时候，总有一个保镖要抓住他的皮带，然后随时要把他拉走。They were attentive and ready. 他们就是很聚精会神的，然后他们总是很预备好的。And that catches the manner of God's servant described in verse two. 啊，然后啊，这这就是这个图画向我们表明了，就是第二章里面讲到我们务要传道这样的一个呃。应该以什么方式来预备 ？Be ready, stand near, be on hand, be always alert at your task. 啊，我们总是要预备好，要要准时刻准备着啊。我们要要要要靠近，要警醒。In seasons when the truth is tolerated, in seasons when it's not tolerated. 不管是在啊真理比较被包容的时机，还是真理不被包容的时机。Whatever the climate of your culture, be ready. Be at your post. Fulfill your charge as a servant of the word. Ah, 无论你的环境如何，无论你的文化如何，都要预备好啊，去传道啊。And it will not go easily. It will not go smoothly. 这是不容易的，肯定会碰到困难。He says it involves reproof and rebuke. 所以，而且保罗也说要怎么样？要责备人，要这个劝诫人。It involves correction. It involves censure. Unseasonable proclamation means going against the stream. 
，呃，那些所不得食的时候传道是什么意思呢？就是要顶着这些巨大的压力和阻力去。It means saying from God's word that that's wrong, there is right. Stop believing that. Start believing this. 就是勇敢的要站起来说啊，这是错的，那是对的，不要再信这个，要一定要信那个。So the charge to preach the word is to be done urgently, sometimes inconveniently, and sometimes confrontively. 呃，所以这个务要传道的这个嘱咐，让我们看到是很多时候是呃是不不方便的，是我们不想做的，是不容易的这样的一个时机。But please notice that this is not justification for us to be self-righteous or ugly or angry. 啊，但是我们也呃要留意，不要拿这个借口，就是为我们怎么有时候我们的易怒啊，有没脾气不好啊，然后拿这个来做借口。Sometimes the reason our neighbors react against the gospel is because We are self-righteous. Ah, 有时候我们的邻居他们反对福音，仅仅是因为我们的自意。Sometimes we can act as though we gain this knowledge of the truth all by ourselves. 很多时候我们在人前展现出来的就是说啊，我们能够有这样的一个知识，有这样的一个真理，是因为我们自己了不起。Sometimes we can forget that we only know the truth because God was patient with us. 我们忘了一个事实，就是我们能够领受真理，是因为上帝对我们忍耐。Notice the last half of verse two. 还记得就是呃呃，我们来留意第二节的后半部分。We are to exercise this charge with complete patience and teaching. 他说要用百般的忍耐来啊、呃、执行这样的一个嘱咐去传道。That means we're to appeal. We're to urge a response. 啊，我们是要去，甚至是要去请求别人，去恳求别人。We are to be concerned for the people to whom we preach. 我们也要去，真的是关心、关怀那些我们去传道的对象。Our heart is not just to reprove and rebuke, but to reclaim, to redeem. 那这我们的任务不是单单去责备人、去警戒人，我们是要得着他们，去赢回他们。Of all people, it should be Christians who are able to be patient with others. 所以，成为基督徒，你的一个任务就是要对人忍耐，要去要去耐心的对待别人。Our very message is the message of the long suffering and perseverance of God with His people. 因为我们的这个所传扬的信息的本身就是包含了神对他的子民这种啊这种很久的忍耐。The long suffering and patience of God as He brings His plan to fulfillment in Christ Jesus. 甚是因为神的恒久忍耐，所以他啊把啊把在基督耶稣里面的这样的一个得救的计划啊赐给我们。And the reason that we wait for the Lord's return, according to the Apostle Peter, is that God is patient. 呃，为什么我们现在仍然在等基督的再来呢？其中一个原因，根据彼得的话说，是神在忍耐。He does not wish that any of his people should perish, but all of his people should come to repentance. 因为他不愿意人沉沦，乃愿人人都悔改。We ourselves, as Christians, have benefited from God's patience. 我们作为基督徒，我们是神的忍耐的受益者。When we were ignorant, God was patient. 当我们无知的时候，神忍耐我们。When we were rebellious, God was long-suffering. 当我们悖逆的时候，神忍耐我们。When we were sinful, God persevered to bring us to salvation in Christ Jesus. 当我们还犯罪的时候，神在忍耐之中把我们带到基督耶稣那里。And the image of our God should characterize our preaching of the Word. So, God's this kind of image, ah, God's this kind of image, should be shown in our preaching of the Word. We should be patient. We should be compassionate. 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 To whom we preach the word, we are also hoping that God can save those who we preach the word. Charles Spurgeon was described this way. 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 Charles Spurgeon was The charge is for courageous preaching. 
说啊，对你对提摩太的嘱咐就是你要勇敢大胆的去传道。But courageous preaching that is concerned for the redemption of captives. 啊啊，这勇敢大胆的去传道，你是要带是是希望能够把这些人的心意夺回。So that it is characterized by complete patience in teaching them about Jesus. 而这个。呃，这样的一个传道呢，是要很通过很耐心的啊，来去引导他们、教导他们，来彰显出来的。That's the manner of the charge. 这就是这个嘱咐啊，这个传道的方式要怎么样 ？So if your vision is to engage your generation. 呃，如果呃你的。If your vision is to engage your generation. 啊，如果你的一个意向就是你要啊赢得你的这个时代。If your vision is to extend God's kingdom amongst your neighbors, 如果你的一个意向就是要啊把神的国度扩展到你的邻舍 If your vision is to spread the praise of God's name in your nation, 啊如果你的意向就是要让神的名在你的国家当中得到啊称赞 Then the strategy in which you must place your confidence is the one that Paul gave to Timothy. 所以你要啊你要做的一件事情，你的一个策略啊就是。保罗吩咐提摩太做的事情。For the glory of God in the good of innumerable souls. 啊，要啊，为了神的荣耀，也是为了这众多的灵魂。Preach. 啊，要务要传道。Preach the word. 啊，务要传道。Preach the word that reveals Christ. 务务要传那个啊，彰显显明基督的道。With your eyes on the return of Christ. 啊，同时要注目啊，去看基督，仰望基督的再来。For the glory of God. Ah, 为着神的荣耀。Amen. Amen.